After the arrest of three students and an outcry from parents, the Albion Central School District is promising it will take steps to make schools safer. The suspects threatened to use guns and set off bombs at the middle school. While they await trial, the school board is moving forward with a new safety plan. Atia Collins reports. On many parents' minds tonight is this agenda item. All it says is metal detectors, an option that could be adopted after the school district does a security assessment. Now tonight, the officials set a date to go over that security assessment, focusing on security plans and procedures throughout the school district. An alleged school threat made by students in the Albion Central School District is still on the mind of some parents at this Board of Education meeting. The students were caught before anything happened, but parents like Kelly Branagh still feel the trauma from the potential threat. Of just angry parents, worried parents, as we should be. You know, we, we come to talk about what's going to happen to these kids. Are they going to be in class with our kids in the future? All they want to tell us is that we're taking safety measures to protect the kids at school. At the start of the meeting, Board President Kathy Harling read a personal letter assuring parents that their concerns are being heard and the district is taking steps. Some changes have already taken place. Some will take a little more time and careful planning and thought. As you know, it's not always going to be possible to share every detail of these increased safety measures with you. These steps include a security assessment being conducted by a third-party company this month. The assessment will look at what devices, including metal detectors, will be most effective for the school security. But for Brenna, that's not enough. It's the same thing. They're going to bring more in, and we're all for more protection for our kids. That's, we're not doubting that either, but we want the answers that we're asking. Parents at this Board of Education meeting raised questions over the three students charged and how classroom security would change going forward. This need to continue to come. I'm kind of disappointed in the number of parents that weren't here tonight. It's good to come out and show them that we're here and we have not forgot what. The board will review that security assessment on December 16th. After that, any recommendations they may want to adopt, including those potential metal detectors, will have to go before the public before being implemented. In Albion, Atia Collins, News 8. Atia, thanks. On November 8th, three teenage boys were charged with conspiracy to commit murder. Elvin police say they were plotting an attack on the middle school. They have been released to the custody of their parents and are under court order not to use weapons and electronic devices. They are also banned from school grounds while their case makes its way through the court system.